The BYU Cougars are at odds of 250 to 1 to win the college football national championship. Last season saw the Cougars go 9 and 4 straight up, while going 8 and 5 against the spread and 7 and 6 on the over/under. First-time head coach Kalani Sitaki takes over for the new era of BYU football as Bronco Mendenhall, who coached the Cougars for 11 years, is now gone. Sitaki will be changing things at BYU as the Cougars will run a new offense and a new defense. The goal at BYU is to make the Cougars attractive to a conference like the Big 12. The Cougars have a big quarterback battle this season between Taysom Hill, who is coming back for his final year at BYU, and Tanner Mangum, who replaced Hill last season when Hill got hurt. BYU will have a running back, Jamal Williams, who is less than 1,000 yards away from becoming the school's all-time leading rusher. The defense will look different this season as well, as Elisa Tuiaki, who had been at Utah, is taking over. Tuiaki helped the Utes have one of the top defenses in 2014. The schedule for BYU is difficult, especially early on, as the Cougars play four of their first six games on the road. The home games are no bargain either, just getting through the first six games at 3-3 three and three would be a major accomplishment this season. The Cougars should have a potent offense this season with either Taysom Hill or Tanner Mangum running the show. Hill is coming back from injury and he may have the edge over Mangum simply because of his running ability. But Mangum was a star last year as he threw for 3,377 yards and 23 touchdowns. Hill and Mangum went into the fall listed as co-starters. The Cougars have a big time running back in Jamal Williams, who hasn't played since 2014 when he got hurt. Detmer has said the Cougars will be running the ball a lot this season because they get Williams back. The Cougars don't have great receivers as the top returnees are Nick Kurtz and Mitchell Jerkins. The offensive line for BYU is led by starting center Tehan Karoma. The Cougars are changing to a 4-3 defense this season under new defensive coordinator Elisa Tuiaki. The Cougars are counting on having enough defensive linemen to make the system work, led by Travis Tuiloma. And they hope that junior college transfer, handsome Taniello, will play immediately. The Cougars have Harvey Lange and converted running back Francis Bernard at linebacker, along with Fred Werner. The secondary is led by Michael Davis and Kai Nakua. The Cougars are going to look different this season under Sataki and they could be better than they were last season under Mendenhall. Sataki should have a potent offense led by their Mangamer Hill throwing the ball and Williams running it. The question for BYU is the defense as the Cougars have to face a lot of talented offensive teams this season, including UCLA and Michigan State. If the defense plays really well, then the Cougars have a chance to win 10 games and get to a major bowl game. If not, BYU could struggle to have a winning season. What helps the Cougars is going to be their late season schedule as they get three home games that they should win. Join us at BetDSI.com for all the best BYU Cougars betting options, including futures, props, and live in-progress betting during the games.